to go. And we have this Governor Brown also announcing today that he'll lead a trade mission to China this spring to promote California businesses there. That trip will include about 50 business reps and policy leaders and is set for early April. But as Case Area 3's Janet O shows us, some industries in the Central Valley are already doing major trade with the world's second largest economy. China buys a lot of walnuts. Through December, they bought over 12% of California's crop. Tom Boshe co-owns Clement's Nut Company. Boshe doesn't export his goods to China yet, but he's working to change that. We only do shelled walnuts. And, you know, we realize now that China only buys in shell. So we're, we're building an in shell plant. Next year, we'll be able to sell them. Just for China? Yes. China is California's second largest trading partner, and the governor's office said food and agricultural products are one of the top exports with the largest room for growth over the next decade. Central Valley businesses say the governor's plan to open an office in Shanghai is a good move. We're hoping that it's going to mean even more sales. There's, there's tremendous opportunity. Dave Payon owns Miramont Estate Winery and says he's looking to increase the volume of wine he sells overseas. Would you say the China market is going to be an important client moving forward? Yeah, I think it may develop for us into the most important client. The opportunities in China, I think, are far greater for small wineries than anything in the U.S. One of the top California wine in China currently. Tai Zong with the U.S.-China Business and Culture Association works to bridge relationships between California companies and Chinese clients. He says demand for goods from the Central Valley is rising in his home country. Currently, there are 300 million middle class in China. They want to improve, uh, improve their lifestyle. They want to understand what is out there available. All the more reason Central Valley businesses say California opening a trade office makes sense. We always need, you know, people over there working for us, pushing our products. In Lodi, Janet OKCRA, three reports. And there's this number. The governor's office tells us that California nets $40 billion a year from exports. That number is expected to more than double in the next decade. Well, you can